Good day everyone. Hi, this is Desmond, and today I'm going to talk about part of my workflow for my photography using open source software. The first thing you do in your workflow is after you're done capturing your images, you need to transfer them from your camera or your storage media, SD card, compact flash, to your system. Now, what I use for that is a program written by Damon Lynch called Rapid Photo Downloader. Now here we see Rapid Photo Downloader comes up very quickly as soon as I insert my SD card into the card reader. Now the best thing about Rapid Photo Downloader is the flexibility that it gives you. Now we're going to open up Preferences here. And you can see for the Preferences here I have the option of setting my Photo Download folder, which I've already done. It's Photos, but I've also created subfolders for the image date, and the short camera model. Now what this allows me to do is that if I've taken out say one of my Canon SLRs and my Fuji X10 and I've shot with both of them I can come back put both of those cards in and it'll give me two different folders one for each of the camera makes. Now Rapid Photo Downloader also allows you to set meaningful file names. So what I've done here is that every image that image file that's downloaded it changes the basic original file name into something that's a little more meaningful my choice was to use the short camera model in this instance X10 the date a stored number which is an image number and the original extension now rapid photo downloader also allows you to do the same things with any video that you've downloaded so if you've gone out and you've captured video along with your still images then you have the you know flexibility of being able to have everything where it needs to be so you can find it easily now in the rename options it allows you to also do sequence numbers what I usually do for every day of shooting is I reset that stored number back to 1 and I synchronize my RAW and JPEG sequence numbers so that if I capture RAW and JPEG simultaneously those RAW files and those JPEG files will have the same file name and same number so that if I want to compare my JPEG file to the processing I've done in the RAW file I can do that with relative ease so now that I've done that, I just hit download. And as you can see, it really does live up to its name. It's quite rapid. Now also in preferences, although I don't have it to do so, you can set things like backup, where if you have an external drive connected to your system, Rapid Photo Downloader will automatically back up those files to that drive location as well as to your main hard drive on your system. You can also set it to automatically detect certain devices to automatically download when it's detected and also to automate some simple things like downloading at the program startup, deleting images from the card, and even closing the program afterwards. Rapid Photo Downloader is basically my step one. It's one piece of software that no matter what Linux system I'm using, I have it installed on every machine. I consider it pretty much essential to my photographic workflow. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll have more videos about workflow after this, and I hope you'll stick with me. Thanks.